after the beautiful shots of the Rhine, we have our court officials on court for the third match of uh, today. Semi-final in women's singles. It's between two youngsters. Chen Xiaoqin of um, China plays uh, Fitriani of uh, Indonesia. Here's um, the drawn women's singles from the quarterfinal. Uh, we're in the lower part of the draw, and we can see that um, Fitriani had to fight very hard yesterday against uh, Mia Blickfeld of Denmark, whereas um, Chen Xiaoqin had a little bit of an easier match against uh, Olga Kronon of um, Germany. Here comes the players on court. First. Chen Xiaoxin of um, China. Please welcome from Indonesia, Fidiani Fidiani. From Indonesia, Fidiani. Just that one name, exactly like uh, former world champion and uh, Olympic silver medalist Hendrovan. Fortunately, the uh, software system doesn't allow for just one name so you put that one name in twice it's the toy course uh, Chen Xiaoxin won the toy course and chose to start the first game on the far side of the court Chen Xiao Chin, 18 years of age, from uh, Nanning in the Guangxi province. Same as uh, Liu Kai, the uh, All England mixed doubles champion last week. Here's um, Fitriani, she's also 18 years of age, from um, Garut in uh, West Java. Actually, uh, Garut is called the, um, S the Switzerland of Java, so um, she must feel a little bit like home. Here's our umpire, Lynn Mount from uh, United States, and it is Metzpalu, our service judge for this match. Well, Chen Xiaoxin unseated here in um, the Swiss Open. Um, was scheduled to play Xiao Yu Lang from um, Singapore, who was seeded fourth in the first round, but she withdrew and she played Natalie Wojcik from uh, the Ukraine. And Chen Xiaoxin has been uh, fairly dominant throughout uh, her matches. Only in one match has she given more than 10 points away to her opponent in, in the game. That was against German Luisa Hype. As we saw, it was also German opposition in the quarterfinals where Olga Konon scored eight and nine points. Chen Xiaoqin looking to reach her second Grand Prix gold uh, final. The first one was um, in the Macau Open last year where she lost to Chen Yufei. Fitriani has uh, yet to reach um, Grand Prix gold final. This could be her first if she can um, win this semi-final here. And she had to struggle a little bit more, uh, had to save a match point yesterday against um, Danish Mia Blickfeld. So a um, couple of um, young players here in this semi-final, part of um, the young litter, so to speak, to uh, take over from their country's uh, former greats. Of course, China has uh, had many, many great women singles players and uh, still have some at the uh, Super Series level. Uh, 
Her Ping Chao, only 19, and, and Sun Yu. So, um, but not so dominant as, as they've been earlier on and after the Olympics, the retirement of Wang Shishan and, and Wang Yihan, the injury to uh, Li Shirui in the Olympic semifinal against Marin. There's, uh, there's a room for, for youngsters um, in China, but we're just about ready to get this uh, semifinal underway. Fitriani to serve. I still think that um, the drift is uh, consistent with yesterday, even though we saw in the men's doubles match that it was actually possible to um, to play it long, even on the near side here. A good smash. That looked a little bit nervous, uh, that uh, dive from uh, Chen Xiaoxin. Smash from uh, Fitriani, who's just um, one meter and 54 centimeters tall. That's about uh, five foot one. Already very popular in uh, Indonesia. And of course, many. Um, hope that she can become a player of the um, same level as the mighty Susie Susanti. Susie Susanti is actually here in Switzerland and is now the um, director of sports for uh, badminton Indonesia. That's going along as well. There's definitely some drift alongside the court. That was, that was sort of an in-between shot. It was a little bit in-between a clear and a smash, but very, very efficient. Yeah, that's called wide, and I have to agree, I'm directly over that line, and it wasn't much, but um, definitely agree with the linesman. from uh, Chen Xiaoxin. Uh, that was better. Smash directly on uh, the left sideline from uh, Fitriani. Best result is um, from 2015, the Vietnam Open, where she was um, runner-up, had a really, really good tournament. Lost the final to Saini Kawakami from uh, Japan. Of course, highly motivated. Both players trying to make a name for themselves in uh, International Badminton. Uh, didn't hit that properly for Triani, sort of like dropped on her racket. Along. 
saw the match yesterday that uh, Fitzgerald played against uh, Mia Blickfeld, and she started on the same near side of the court here and was really struggling, uh, but bounced back in the second game and was behind almost all of the third game until she actually won it in the end, 22-20. Shows some uh, character and mental Whoa! strength. Good defense there from Chen Xiaoxin. Very, very close to the net. And of course, that's one of the tactical things that um, you normally would apply against a player that's um, not as tall, hasn't got that big reach. Fitriani, see if you can play with accuracy and make the court big. That's in. Well played. So important for the players to uh, sort of adjust to the conditions. And when you reach the semi final stage, you should more or less be able to play in the conditions, the wind conditions that are in the hole. Control it from the fast side and push it a little bit more from the slow side of the court. Good body smash. They've played each other once before, actually, in um, the Indonesian Masters in 2015. Chen Xiaoqin won that match in uh, straight games. So judging by that, um, perhaps the small favorite to win this match. But then again, when, when the players are so young, um, the development happens, can happen quick. So interesting to see who prevails in the end of this match. Oh, that was a little bit too short, that lift, but um, lucky for Chen Xiaoqin. Fitriani put it wide. We saw that she deliberately chose that side, so probably looking for a good start. And it's fair to say that she's got it. Five-point lead here going into the interval in the first game. 11-6, so just six minutes of play. Chinese women's singers coach Chen Jin and um, Binati Timur from uh, Indonesia was a singles player in her early days, but probably mostly known for uh, her Olympic silver medalist with uh, Trikus Harianto in um, 2000. And yeah, it was actually in 2000 in um, Sydney. She's got a lot of advice. That's something we often see when we see these young players that um, there's a lot of advice during the coaching. Good retrieval. Pictures here in slow. Oh, that's gone wide. Riley. 
Well played by uh, Chen Xiaoxin. Xiaoxin has been in uh, one final of a Grand Prix Gold Tournament earlier. That was um, that was in the uh, Macau Open. Lost to Chen Yufei, who is actually uh, contesting the other semi-final in uh, this year's uh, Swiss Open, playing against. Um, Hoshi from Japan, so there's a possibility of a repeat final from the Macau Open. Yeah, very good idea to block that one. Seems like she changed her mind a little too late there. Approximately the same height as um, Kani Yamaguchi and uh, Musumi Okuhara is uh, Fitriani. And of course, that means that he used to uh, that work rate and playing some really quality shots from a pressure position in terms of reach. I think we've seen that already in this match, that she's capable of doing that. There's a jump smash or a jump cut. Woo! A very, very satisfied uh, Chen Xiaoxin for surviving uh, that defense there. It's only the second time for both players that they compete in Europe. Fitriani played the uh, Polish Open and um, Orleans challenge last year, whilst um, Chen Xiaoxin has been here once for the uh, German and Dutch Junior in 2014. So great result for both of them to uh, go this far. Shot quality from Chen Xiaoxin. Making the court big. Doesn't have to sort of punch her clears that much, just as long as they have the correct length and she can play some close drop shots as well. That puts Vitriani under a little bit of pressure, but um, I'm looking very much forward to the second game to see how it goes when they change sides that's exactly on the line out wow service over it was white it was i think white. that was called by the umpire it was white. i didn't see any hand action by the service linesman over. and i have 10, to say i disagree 15. Chen. Chen. Just i think she was told not to flick away sweat as well middle of the tram line 11 15 Um, Chen Xiaoxin is a little bit, 12, um, 15. Uh, I won't say nervous, but, but feeling the pressure that um, 
since she won their only previous uh, match and uh, chose the presumably good side to start with that uh, she's got to capitalize here in the first game and of course ev that's gone wide every shot Over that uh, Fitriani gets back 16 that uh, 12 Chen Xiaoxin doesn't really um, want to come back if you can save some good shots from the Chinese player and it puts a lot of pressure on her Woo! Oh. 17 was 12. A hit there a five-point lead for um, Chen Xiaoxin Definitely some opportunities for uh, Fitriani 13, 17. to attack from that backhand side. Really, really well placed smashes. It's gone wide. 14, 17. was the correct length but a very good clear from Fitriani as well she's definitely adapted to the circumstances here Australia of the match. Excellent drop shot. Great retrieval. And that is a forced mistake, that one. She didn't want to play any more shots in that rally. She went for the winner and eventually it became a error. Immediately asked the umpire for a towel 15, down, but is denied. 17. That's really, really interesting development. Great work by Fitriani. here that's a good drop shot this time she was right on target with it and that's actually 18, 15, the trademark 15. of a top player if you make a mistake then do it a little bit better the next time and now both players are allowed to towel down whilst the courts are being mopped ahead now for both players can Fitriani steal this first game good shot 
That's a little soft. There it is. Great, great smash. We've seen her make a couple of um, errors wide there, but this time she had the correct margin. Very difficult footwork for uh, Fitriani. Under pressure on the drop shot and then have to go to the same side to defend the smash. Two points away from the first game. Chen Xiaoxin. Good shot. Oh, that's fantastic. What an accuracy on uh, the net. I think it just touched the net court. 16, 19. Yeah, it did. And she was on it, Chen Xiaoxin. Great effort by her, by her as well. Just under too much pressure. Missed that one for training. I think she was a little bit surprised on how short it was. 20. Game point six. Look clear from uh, Chen Xiaoxin. Anyway, it's um, four game points for Chen Xiaoxin. That's in. So, 17-20. That actually means that Fitriani is leading um, the second part of this uh, first game. She was down 11-6 at the interval. That's gone long. First Yay. game to uh, Chen Xiaoxin, 21-17 in uh, 20 Ken. minutes time, 21 Ken. minutes, sorry. First Just game won by Chen Xiaoxin, 21-17. Let's get a little notice from uh, umpire Lin Moan. She's not to influence the uh, linesman. have to do that. That was quite a bit long, that service. So good um, win for Chen Xiaoxin here in the first game. Getting some advice from Chen Jin, former men's singles world champion from uh, Paris 2010. I guess you could say that this is sort of his first um, litter of uh, players for himself inherits a number of um, the strong women singles players in China when he took over from uh, two-time Olympic gold medalist Jiang Ning as uh, women's singles coach can we see Chen Jin quickly finishing his coaching whilst Minati Timur is still uh, giving advice to uh, Fitriani. And I guess in, in many ways, of course, seconds. you're focused on this match, uh, trying to win this, but, but you, there has to be some part of long-term um, development as well that uh, you might touch on in, in these coaching situations. Um, she did a really good job yesterday Second against uh, Mia Blickfeld in the quarterfinal. Blickfeld had, um, in the second round, defeated um, second seed Zhang Bei Wen of the USA. And um, it was especially on that far side of the court that Fitriani played so well yesterday. So, very, very interesting second game we have ahead of us. That's gone long. One love. That's the danger um, when you're playing 
that far side of the court where you feel you can punch your clears and, and push your lifts a little bit more, that what, what if the opponent has played her shot too short? Then you're going to play too long anyway. Even though there's a slight drift helping you to keep the shuttle in, that's a good, good cut from uh, Chen Xiaoxin. We've already seen that she's got great technical skills. shot she was alert to it this time Chen Xiaoxin and of course that uh, really looks like one of the best shots of Fitriani and that's the top players uh, job to sort of read that it's been a long time since they met last in uh, 2015 in Indonesia so we tend to forget it a little bit Oh, she missed that one. That went long. Or love. What an exciting player, Chen Xiaoxin. And also Fitriani, one of the most light footed players I've seen in, in women's singles. Excellent smash from uh, Chen Xiaoxin and from this side of the court here, the near side of the court, it's, it's about maintaining control of the rally. If you're a little bit uncertain, play it downwards. I think that was really, really important for um, One, five. Fitriani to sort of uh, stop the bleeding there. Already a little too far behind to my taste. For the sober. Six, one. This is one of the challenges when you're playing a little bit of windy conditions and so on. You feel you're doing well on, on the not so good side and then you change ends and feel that now it's, it's your turn to play well, but then the opponent the sort of over. changes her um, attitude towards the game, Two, plays six. a bit more aggressive style, doesn't play that many clears that she's done in the first game and so on. Experience in the Chinese women's singles department is, in my opinion, second to none. They know how to cope with those kind of things. The question is, Three, six. can you execute on the on the day? She likes to hit it and it seems to hurt for Triani. Seven, four. Got 
that to cover the straight clear. So it's hard for her to cover that uh, very well placed cross drop shot as well. tournament Chen Xiaoxin is playing in Europe in this um, spring here she didn't play the All England and China did not at all have a um, women's singles team in um, German Open so going back home after this tournament to participate in the India Super Series in uh, Eight, five. a couple of weeks time Players have some Premier Series experience, though, due to their home tournaments, China Premier Series for uh, Chen Xiaoxin and Indonesia Open for Fitriani. Important to play a little bit above your level from time to time to sort of get an idea of what's needed and where am I right now. It's feedback on what you need to practice on and what perhaps could be an advantage for you in your game. Good rally here, that's in. And look, look how far in it is from the back line. So the silver, six, eight. Good shot. Excellent shot Perfect from uh, Chen Xiaoxin, and she's really got Nine, six. the right marking now on that straight smash. I feel it's important for uh, for Chen to put Vitriani under some kind of pressure so that she's um, able to sort of um, Anticipate in a better way. There's the cross drop as well. It's been absolutely magnificent for the Chinese player. Ten, six. Very, very sharp cross drop. Beautifully placed, not, not hitting the line or anything, because if you go for the lines, you might end up making mistakes, and there's no need absolutely to to play it that close. There it is again. Oh, that's a great net game from Petriani. She challenges from way, Perfect way below the tape. Beautiful shot. Good to see that. Seven, ten. Not afraid to do something extraordinary. That one. Jump smash. I guess from 154 you simply need to jump if you want to smash. Eight, ten. Just two point in it, and um, it's very positive in my opinion. As we saw, what a start for Triani got on this. Um, Second game being down five nothing. Oh. It's over. called in, eight. and uh, Chen Xiaoqin takes a three-point lead to uh, the interval here in the second game. One game to nothing, and a three-point lead.
this is one of the situations where it's important to realize that, again, Fitriani from being seconds. down five nothing, she's uh, actually seconds. leading eight six. So there's Thank still you. hope for the Indonesian player. Of course, for Jin Long, it's mostly about um, reinforcement. Eleven eight. Play. It's over. Nine eleven. This time she was alert to it, and what a fantastic finish there with the very, very nice backhand from uh, Fitriani. 10, 11. It's almost a high backhand there because, I mean, the net post there, 155. On the sides, 152.5 on the middle of the court. 12, 10. Again, the straight smash from the back and side. Team, ten. Prove sufficient. Chen Xiaoxin ranked 64th in the world and uh, has holds the highest ever rank this week. Of course, looking to improve on that in order to get in the Super Series, at least the qualifications. Fitriani is down one place from her best ever, 29. She's now 30th in this week. Good shot. Ah! Oi. Has got a little bit too greedy there. Over. He went for the line, Chen Xin Xiaoxin. 11, 13. We have to give her that she's made an awful lot of winners in that shot. as well. 12, 13. And suddenly, in my opinion, the momentum with um, with Fitriani now. Right. Oh, that's wide. <laughs> Service over. Yeah, she's 14, a little bit frustrated 12. with herself there. I guess for the ones that have um, seen Susie Susanti in action, you can spot where she's got that um, service motion from. Looks a lot like uh, the first ever Olympic uh, women's singles champion. But I didn't see Susie play the jump smashes as far as I remember. 
hesitant. Oh, she missed it. It was a double hit from uh, Fitriani. After Chen Xiaoqin had been really, really hesitant 15, on the 13. baseline. And the problem is that the score is actually so close now that you, you don't really want to let it drop and, and, and see it drop inside the line. Oh, that's been long. Sixteen, thirteen. Two very, very good rallies for uh, Chen. He's now got a three-point cushion and the first game in the back. Some tense moments ahead of us here. Can Chen Xiaoxin close this match in straight games or will Fitriani be able to equalize? It's that great smash again. She's really got some fantastic shots 17, from the backhand side. Chen 15. Xiaoxin. That straight smash combined with that sharp cross drop from exactly the same spot is so hard to defend for uh, Fitriani. Thank you. She missed that one. That could become really, really costly, I fear. 18, 15. And that's, of course, the problem for the Indonesian player. She's got to make a number of high quality shots in a row in order to outmaneuver Chen Xiaoqin. for her to get steepness on her shots. <laughs> oh, that's called wide. Nope. So over. Chen is not nope. entirely satisfied with that call. 16, 18. It's really, really difficult to see. Chen? Uh, it looks... Play. Looks doubtful, but we have no um, instant replay system here in the uh, Grand Prix Gold tournaments. Only applies to Super Series right. and higher tournaments. <laughs> she missed that. Service over. Nineteen sixteen. Well. Chen. Two points away from 
a second Grand Prix gold final. Excellent drop shot from Pitriani. Well, you can't blame them for not um, going for the sharp shots. There's a couple of mistakes once in a while, but there's also some beautifully placed shots. And I think there's been most of the latter in uh, this match. Oh, great retrieval. That's wide. I thought Chen Xiaoxin had read that and outplayed Fitriani, but I think Eight, centimeters above 19. the floor, she gets it back. <laughs> that was really, really unlucky 18. for uh, Fitriani. Hit the top of the net court and stayed on her own side, and that gives her opponent Chen Xiaoxin two match points to enter the final of uh, Swiss Open. Overdone it. Service over. Nineteen twenty. Can't blame her. She's won a lot of um, rallies on that smash. Tried to finish the match with it, but uh, we did it a little bit. Fitriani is still alive. Surviving the first match point. Yay. There it is. <laughs> Chen Xiaoqin of China is into her second Grand Prix gold final. Victory in uh, straight games in a very uh, tactical match over Fitriani from Indonesia. 21 17, 21 19 in 47 minutes. Won by Chen Chao Jin, 21 17, 21 19. Here's the final rally. Excellent performance by uh, Chen Xiaoqin. Had a run of points at crucial times during the match. 11-6 lead, lead in the first game and rushed off to a 5 nothing lead in the second. That was enough to uh, secure her the match. And we'll see her again in tomorrow's final. Here's confirmation of the score. 21-17, 21-19. She plays the winner of uh, a match later today between Chinese compatriot Chen Yufei and uh, Chisato Hoshi of uh, Japan.